This is the LCU Drive Home Recap for October 2nd. Let me ask you this. Do you ever find yourself asking why? You ask questions about why all the time, right? Like, why do I have to make my bed if I'm going to get back into it? Why are we having meatloaf for dinner? Why do I need to clean my room? I'm the one who lives there. Right? We all ask why questions. And tonight at LCS, we started a new series called Tell Me Why. And over the next several weeks, we're going to be looking at some of the things that we do in church and why we do them. And so there might be some questions that come up about all sorts of things. I'd encourage you to let us know what why questions you're asking and maybe we can help you answer them. But tonight we started by looking at why do we do water baptism? And you can see here I'm standing next to our baptismal tank at Life Church. And so we talked about in Luke 3, we see Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist. We watched a short video about what that meant. And in Jesus' time, the symbol of getting baptized in the water was a commitment to a new way of life. Now, when Jesus got baptized, he wasn't committing to any sort of new way of life. It wasn't a baptism of repentance because he was perfect and without sin. He didn't need to get baptized, but he needed to get baptized. He did it as an example for us. And that's what we see when Jesus approached John the Baptist. He was setting an example that we would follow thousands of years later. And so in this question, we, you know, maybe brought up, why should I get baptized? We, you might ask a question of, um, when should I get baptized? Do I have to be baptized in order to be saved? What, what would I do if I've already been baptized, but I really am making a commitment to follow the Lord now? Can I get re-baptized? Or what do I do if I was baptized as a baby? And those are all really good questions. And hopefully we answered some of them tonight, but the real thing is, is that baptism is a commitment to a new way of life. And that's why we have this tank and that's why we fill it up every couple of months and give people an opportunity because the new way of life that we are so excited to see people committing to is a life of faith following Jesus. And all through the New Testament, we see this command over and over again to be baptized, a command to be baptized. And we should be baptized. Anybody who's committing to Christ should be baptized. Anyone who wants to make that commitment to follow Jesus in faith should then take the next step and be baptized in water. And we saw that in Romans chapter 6, verses 3 through 4, that Paul wrote that our commitment to Christ is symbolized in that death to self going under the water and being raised to new life in Christ. And our big idea is this. Baptism is an outward expression of an inward commitment. Our relationship with Jesus is something that is personal, but it's not something that should be kept private. So if we are following Jesus, one of the next steps we should take is to follow his example by being baptized in water. So the question is, have you taken that step of faith? And if not, what's holding you back? If it's the date, put it on your calendar. November 3rd, we're going to fill this tank up again, and you can make that profession of faith in front of all your family here at Life Church. But if something else is, I would, I would encourage you to check yourself. What is keeping you from committing to following the Lord in every aspect that you can? Because we want to be fully committed followers of Jesus. That's part of what we're all about. Love you guys. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you soon.